Former President Donald Trump is taking a break from campaigning today, but is set to return to the trail tomorrow. He'll be in Michigan to host a town hall, marking his first public event since yesterday's apparent assassination attempt. CBS News Chief Election and Campaign Correspondent Robert Costa is following the campaign for us from West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, Robert, uh, good to see you. How is this latest assassination attempt expected to impact Trump's planned campaign events? It's great to be with you. Inside former President Donald Trump's inner circle, there is exasperation, unease about this second assassination attempt in just months. There's a sense that former President Trump remains a target for some of his political critics. But President Trump has told people behind the scenes he's carrying on with his campaign. He's determined to move ahead. He does not have any planned events today in terms of a rally or a campaign event. But he will make some stops this week in swing states like Michigan. And those remain on the schedule based on our latest reporting at CBS News. Um, I want to sort of pivot over now to uh, the campaign and this these false claims of Haitian uh, migrants in Ohio uh, snatching people's pets. The, the governor of Ohio has rebuked those false claims uh, and he may, made by Donald Trump and, and his uh, running mate. However, he still says he's going to support the former president. I want to play a little sound for you. I, I've said before, uh, we knew who the nominee was going to be. I would support the Republican nominee for president. I am, I am a Republican. I think if you look at the economy issues, and these are issues that I think the American people are most concerned about, uh, I think that Donald Trump is the, is, is the, best, is the best choice. So, I mean, what sort of impact are these false claims having? I mean, J.D. Vance essentially basically said over the weekend, yeah, they may not be true, but, you know, if this is what gets people's attention, then I think it's okay. Is this having any impact on support for the, the Trump Vance ticket? It's not having any impact in terms of the Republican support for Trump. It's evident based on that conversation uh, just played with Governor DeWine of Ohio that Republicans, even if they have some disagreements or concerns about how former President Trump and Senator Vance are phrasing their rhetoric uh, on immigration, they remain in, in lockstep with the Trump Vance ticket. And that's indicative of how the Republican Party and our political times are today. At the same time, many people inside the Trump campaign tell me privately they want to see their candidates talking about immigration and border security. And the more the campaign's talking about immigration and the economy, the better footing they will be, uh, despite the criticism they're getting for these false claims. And so you're, you're having a very pitch moment in this presidential campaign. 50 days to go, two assassination attempts in recent months at former President Trump, uh, a switch in terms of the Democrats moving out President Biden as their nominee, the presumptive nominee to Vice President Harris. A lot of unrest, a lot of turmoil, uh, and a lot of debate uh, over immigration and border security in particular. And uh, before I let you go, uh, Donald Trump is going to be actually holding sort of a virtual event on X tonight focused on, on crypto. I thought I had heard that he was launching like a crypto platform or a coin or something along those lines. Tell me if you heard that. Um, but what can we expect his focus to be? It's notable that former President Trump continues to sell products and engage in business opportunities, even while he is the Republican nominee for president. It's not that, that surprising. He engaged in politics and business while running for president in 2016. He's a private citizen, once again, not president. He's doing so again by engaging in cryptocurrency ventures. Uh, but it does raise questions among some Republicans and Democrats about whether it's appropriate for someone who's a, a presidential nominee to be so active in the business community with entrepreneurial efforts like this. But former President Trump is telling his allies he sees no problem. He's a private citizen. He's allowed to have some ventures just like any investor. Yeah, we know that he's been certainly trying to sort of woo the uh, crypto uh, crypto bros, I guess, uh, over this campaign. So maybe that that's part of what we're seeing here. Uh, Robert, thank you very much. Thank you.